Well, everywhere we look, we see this incredible complexity, this order, this harmony, that if you recall, Kepler was saying that is what science is all about. Science is involved in looking at this order and the harmony that God has created for us. But when you reject the designer, then you're left with this deep problem associated with the disconnect between a random chaotic box and all the order that we see and the beauty and the grandeur that's associated with it. Well, we're going to look at a few of these. What do you suppose this is? Joshua, you know what this is. What is it? It is a blood clot. It is a blood clot. What are the red things there? Red blood cells. Red blood cells. That's exactly right. What are the white things, the white strands? Oh, is this still fibrin? Fibrin? Yes, that's exactly right. They're strands of fibrin. I'm impressed. Blood clotting is an incredible thing. Have you ever thought about it? What an amazing thing God has given to us in this little system that we just ignore called the clotting of the blood. Or do you think about this? I mean, what would happen? We get caught, and we have to ask ourselves the question, why don't we bleed to death? Actually, I've got a friend who can explain this a whole lot better than I do, and so I'm going to have her explain this for you. I cut my finger this morning, and it's bleeding. But if I put this band-aid on, it'll stop in a while. Did you ever wonder how it happens? I mean, does blood just stop, because that's what it's supposed to do? Why doesn't our blood clot before we get it cut? I guess we just die then, because all our blood would harden up and stop flowing. Did you ever wonder? Did you ever wonder why? Blood clotting is a very complex process involving thousands and millions of triggers that have to act just perfectly with one another to create the final outcome. Let me see if I can tell you how this works. First, you get a little cut like mine. Imagine you're in my bloodstream. There's a bunch of traffic going on, and pretend you're floating around with a kajillion other red blood cells, all with oxygen backpacks. Everything slows down when you get near the cut. This is called vascular constriction. In short, your body limits the flow near the cut because it knows something is wrong. And of course, you feel pain. So, a protein in your body called fibrinogen arrives on the scene. Fibrinogen is primarily responsible for stimulating platelet clumping. Thrombin essentially cuts off the ends of the fibrinogen. Platelets clump by binding to collagen. Upon activation, platelets release adenosine 5-diphosphate, ADP, and TXA2, which activate additional platelets, serotonin, phospholipids, liver proteins, and other important proteins for the coagulation cascade. Activated platelets change their shape to accommodate the formation of the plug. Oh, sorry, I digress. Anywho, this complex thing called the Stewart factor converts prothrombin to thrombin, thereby converting fibrinogen to fibrin. By the way, the Stewart factor wasn't active until it was activated by the Christmas factor. Okay, there's a lot more to this process, like this goes there, and binding, recepting, who knows what. It's very complicated. But the net result is a clot. Stops the bleeding, cut heals, clot dissolves, you're on your way. Isn't that neat? 